what would you think should be the new industrial agenda for the new government? Go ahead, Mr. Nyota, I'll join you there. Well, um, you know, one of the things that we have been missing in uh, Bengal is a very large port. Uh, the Haldia port and the Calcutta port, because of it being a riverine port, has limitations. So this has been on the works for some time that we should have one deep sea port because, you know, uh, shipping is a very, very critical aspect. So I think one of the things to be fast-tracked, uh, whichever government comes, is to uh, put up this deep sea port for which some initial work has already started. The second thing I think is, uh, we know the importance of Calcutta in the development of Bengal and the metro railway will be a complete game changer for the city. And I think, uh, if I remember correctly, there's 180 kilometers of metro railway under implementation. I think we need to really fast track that. Uh, a lot of it has been done, but for some bottlenecks and some other issues, uh, it's been delayed. And I think it's very important that we can get this done. It will really transform how Calcutta can be actually made the gateway that you talked about. The third thing that I think we need to do is to change the perception that the rest of India thinks about Bengal. I think all my panel members here who are from Kolkata and work in Kolkata will certainly agree that situation here is far, far better than how it is perceived in other parts of India. <clears throat> Somehow, I think uh, some image which started off long ago because of the power problem, the labor trouble, the militancy, etc., has kind of stuck a little. Then, of course, the Singur agitation, which was really a land-based uh, sort of agrarian agitation, got colored into an industrial agitation as though it was to, uh, you know, anti-industry. That was not the truth, but somehow that got projected in that way because Tata's had to leave. So I think a couple of events have really uh, colored the perception of Bengal in a very adverse way, which is uh, far from the truth. So I think we need to really work hard to correct this image, uh, and therefore whichever government comes in must do this. Thank you. Uh, let me come to Mr. Hemant Kanoria. Uh, Mr. Niyota did talk about infrastructure, but you can go beyond and tell us what, is, what do you think the agenda should be? I think there are two areas which should be of prime importance. One would be on infrastructure, second, manufacturing. I think Calcutta in the last many decades have not be, has not been positioned to develop the infrastructure to enable manufacturing to come in. But if you look at it, locationally, Calcutta has a great advantage. We have eight states in the Northeast, where Calcutta, as we say, has the chicken neck from <laughs> Siliguri onwards, so people can get connected from there. We have three countries which are neighboring, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, and then we have five states which are large enough, Bihar, Odisha, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, so therefore these, and West Bengal itself. So I think that we, as a gateway for the entire eastern region and the northeastern region. Calcutta can really be positioned very well. It would have a population in this particular, if you look at Bangladesh and Nepal and everything taken together, it would have close to about 500 million people of population, which Calcutta can cater to. So I think that the next government, whichever government comes in, if they can have an enabling framework, an environment can be created for infrastructure, development and manufacturing to come in. And also, Calcutta has a very big advantage. We are surplus in power. We have power which is at lower rates than compared to other parts of the country. We have coal mines here, so therefore you can have, we have the advantage of solar power plants which can be set up in this particular region. So I think that infrastructure is, can be set up very quickly if it, there is an enabling framework. The policy, policies have to be simple. It should be something which can be implementable. I think that whichever government comes into power, and what we have seen in the last few decades, that the government have been forward-looking, but now we need to accelerate the pace, and as Harsh mentioned, that you know marketing. So as soon as we have the right kind of an enabling framework for infrastructure projects to come up, for manufacturing to come up, and what, will, what does the manufacturing company need? They need basically power at reasonable cost, 
They need infrastructure by way of land and water, which we have in abundance here in West Bengal. People don't have to come up and set up plants near to Calcutta. They can be away from Calcutta. There's Purulia, Bankura, all these places where we have arid lands, where power plant, where uh, manufacturing plants can come up. We have good road network which has already been set up. 